Hello and welcome back to the reading of the Holy Bible. We are still in Genesis, um, but this week we are at chapter 6. Chapter 6, Wickedness of Man. And after that, men began to be multiplied upon the earth, and daughters were born to them. The sons of God, seeing the daughters of men, that they were fair, took to themselves wives of all which they chose. And God said, My spirit shall not remain in man forever, because he is flesh, and his days shall be a hundred and twenty years. Now giants were upon the earth in those days, for after the sons of God went into the daughters of man, and they brought forth children. These are the mighty men of old, men of renown. God sorrows over wickedness of man. And God, seeing that the wickedness of men was great on the earth, and that all the thought of their heart was bent upon evil at all times, they repented him that he had made man on the earth. And being touched inwardly with sorrow of heart, he said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, from man even to beast, from the creeping thing even to the fowls of the air, for it repenteth me that I have made them. Noah finds grace, but Noah found grace before the Lord. However, before we get there, chapter 6, verse 2, the sons of God. The descendants of Seth and Enos are here called sons of God from their religion and piety. The ungodly race of Cain is called the children of men. The unhappy consequence of the former marrying with the latter ought to be a warning to Christians to be very circumspect in their marriages and not to suffer themselves to be determined in their choice by their carnal passion to the prejudice, to the prejudice of virtue or religion. Verse 3, his days shall be, an example, men's days which before the flood were usually 900 years should now be re reduced to 120 years. Rather, God would allow men 120 years for repentance and conversion before he would send the deluge. Verse 4, giants. It is likely the generality of men before the flood were of a gigantic stature in comparison with what men now are. But these here spoken of are called giants as being not only in tall stature, but violently, but, but violent and savage in their dispositions, and mere monsters of cruelty and lust. Verse 6. They repented him. God who is unchangeable is not capable of repentance, grief, or any other passion. But these expressions are used to declare the enormity of the sins of men, which were so provoking as to determine their creator to destroy these, these his creatures whom before he had favored. Chapter 9, Sons of Noah, or not, chapter, pardon, Sons of Noah. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just and perfect man in his generations. He walked with God, and he begot three sons, Sem, Cham, and Japheth. And the earth was corrupted before God and was filled with iniquity. Promise of destruction of the earth. And when God had seen that the earth was corrupted, for all flesh had corrupted its way upon the earth, he said to Noah, the end of all flesh has come before me. The earth is filled with iniquity through them, and I will, and I will destroy them with the earth. I think I mean Noah, although it's I'm not used to spelling it. I apologize for that. From design, construction, and measurements of the ark. Make ye an ark of timber planks. Thou shalt make little rooms in the ark, and thou shalt pitch it within and without. And thus, th and thus shalt thou make it. The length of the ark shall be three hundred cubits, the breadth of its fifty cubits, and the height of it thirty cubits. Sixteen. Thou shalt make a window in the ark, and in a cubit shalt thou finish the top of it, and the door of the ark thou sh shalt set in the side, with lower middle chambers, and third stories shalt thou make it. The flood promised. Behold, I will bring the waters of a great flood upon the earth, to destroy all flesh, where it is wherein is the breath of life under heaven. All things that are in the earth shall be consumed. Use of the ark. And I will establish my covenant with thee, and thou shalt enter into the ark, thou and thy sons and thy wife, and the wives of thy sons with thee. And of every living creature of all flesh, thou shalt bring two of, two of a sort into the ark, that they may live with thee, of the male sex and the female, of fowls according to their kind, and of beasts in their kind, and of everything that creepeth on the earth according to its kind. Two of every sort shall go in with thee, that they may live. Thou shalt take unto thee of all food that may be eaten, and thou shalt lay it up with thee, and it shall be food for thee and them. And Noah did all things which God commanded him. 
Verse 15, 300 cubits. The arc, according to the dimensions here set down, contained 450,000 cubic cubits. This was more than enough to contain all the kinds of living creatures with all necessary provisions, even supposing the cubits here spoken of had been only a foot and a half each, which was the least kind of cubits. Chapter 7. Noah, his family, and the animals go into the ark. And the Lord said to them, The Lord said to him, Go in thou and all thy house into the ark, for thee I have seen just before me in this generation. Of all clean beasts take seven and seven, the male and the female. But of the beasts that are unclean, two and two, the male and the female. Of the fowls also of the air, seven and seven, the male and the female, that seed may be saved upon the base of the whole earth. For yet a while, and after seven days, I will reign upon the earth forty days and forty nights, and I will destroy every substance that I have made from the face of the earth. And Noah did all things which the Lord had commanded him, and he was six hundred years old when the waters of the flood overflowed the earth, the deluge. And Noah went in, and his sons, his wife, and the wives of his son with him, into the ark because of the waters of the flood, and of beasts clean and unclean, and of fowls, and of everything that moveth upon the earth. Two and two went into Noah, into the ark, male and female, as the Lord had commanded Noah. And after the seven days were passed, the waters of the flood overflowed the earth. In the six hundredth year of the life of Noah, in the second month, in the seventeenth day of the month, all the fountains of the great deep were broken up, and the floodgates of heaven were opened. And the rain fell upon the earth forty days and forty nights. In the self same day, Noah and Sem and Cham and Japheth, his sons, his wife, and the three wives of his son with them, went into the ark. They and every last they and every beast according to its kind, and all the cattle and their kind, and everything that moveth upon the earth according to its kind, and every fowl according to its kind, all birds and all that fly. And all that fly went into went into Noah into the ark, two and two of all flesh, wherein was the breath of life. And they that went in went in male and female of all flesh, as God had commanded them, and the Lord shut him in on the outside. Intensity and duration of the deluge. And the flood was forty days upon the earth, and the waters increased, and lifted up the ark on high from the earth. For they overflowed exceedingly, and filled all on the face of the earth, and the ark was carried upon the waters. And the waters prevailed beyond measure upon the earth, and all the high mountains under the whole heaven were covered. The water was fifteen cubits higher than the mountain which it covered, and all flesh was destroyed that moved upon the earth, both of fowl and of cattle and of beasts, and of all creeping things that creep upon the earth, and all men. And all things wherein there is the breath of life, and on the earth died. And he destroyed all the substance that was upon the earth from man, even to beast, and the creeping things and fowls of the air. And they were destroyed from the earth, and Noah only remained. And they that were with him in the ark, and the waters, prevailed upon the earth a hundred and fifty days. Chapter 7, verse 2, of all things beasts. The distinction of clean and unclean beast appears to have been made before the law of Moses, which was not yet promulgated. Pardon. So that is where we will end it this time, and we'll continue next time with chapters 8 and 9, which continues with uh, God's flood as well as with Noah. And then after that, we st um, event after that will eventually, it will still be Noah, which is... It's very interesting. But thank you very much for watching. You make sure you have a great day, and God bless. Thank you very much.